Hello! Welcome to this video tutorial on using the CiteFast website to generate citations and create your references page easily. If you are someone who struggles with other aspects of your APA paper, check out my video playlist called APA Format in Microsoft Word. It's linked in the description below. In this video, we're going to be using CiteFast. So the first step is to open a browser like Chrome or Firefox and go to www.sitefast.com. Once you're there, the first thing you want to do is to select the style you are using. In our case, it's APA, which is already selected. Then choose the type of source you are using. Notice that if we hit more, it actually gives us more options for types of sources. So let's take a look at my first example source, which is an article from the CQ Researcher database. CQ Researcher is a little bit of an unusual situation because it is considered to be both a database and a journal. So in this case, we are going to select journals on SiteFast. Once you click that, it will take you to the autofill option which will search for your article and find where someone else has cited it and give you their citation. I have found that these are often wrong, so I ignore autofill entirely, and I click on manual entry instead. This will bring you to a form that you can use to fill in the information from your source. The first thing we need is the author's name or names if there are multiple authors. Looking back at the original source, that's very easy to find. Yes, we did get this electronically, so we're going to leave that selected. Now we need the date of publication. We can see in our original source page it's 2013. Now for the article title. Notice it says very clearly here on the form that it should be in sentence case. This means only the first word of the title and the subtitle are capitalized. Proper nouns and abbreviations are also capitalized, but everything else is lowercase. So for this article title, homeless will be capitalized and the word should will also be capitalized because that is the first word of the subtitle. CQ Researcher is the journal title, which is in title case, so all important words are capitalized. Notice that the particular rule on title case shows up when we hover over the question mark. Now we need the volume issue. We can see that it's volume 23, issue 13. We can get the page numbers from the Cite Now button on the database. While this tool doesn't do a perfect APA citation, it does provide some necessary information. Finally, we need a DOI or a URL. A DOI is a Digital Object Identifier. Some articles have them and some don't. This article does not list a DOI anywhere, so we can just use the URL. The URL is also known as a web address. Normally we can just copy and paste it from the address bar at the top, but it's a good idea when you're in a database to look and see if there's a permanent link listed on the page somewhere. On CQ Researcher, they actually list it all the way at the very bottom. Here we can see a permanent URL that we can copy and paste right into SiteFast. Okay, now that we're done completing the form, we're going to click on the green button that says Save Citation. That adds it to a list of citations on the right side. Now we can move on to citing the next source. For my second example, I'm going to use a journal article from ProQuest. I'm going to go through this example a little bit quicker 
since some of it is the same procedure as my previous example. So we know this is a journal article, so we're going to go back to SiteFast, and we already have journal selected. We're going to ignore autofill, just like last time, and click on manual entry. You can see we actually have three authors here, so we're going to need to add two more authors to our form. You'll notice that because I capitalized the letters U.S. for United States, it is warning me that I have some words below that are capitalized. So it's just trying to make sure that I'm writing this in sentence case properly. Notice also that I capitalized the first word of the subtitle. Okay, now we need the DOI. We can check for that by scrolling to the bottom of the details page in ProQuest. So first we click the tab for details and then scroll down. Now here we see that we have a DOI. Just copy and paste that right in. Okay, now it's time to click Save Citation and move on to our next example. For my third citation, I need to cite this ebook from EBSCO eBooks database. So in CiteFast, we click on Book. Then we click on Manual Entry. For the available format, we're going to choose ebook, and that will change the required parts of the form. Put in the author name. We are indeed citing the entire book. Put in the other information as usual. The book title is in sentence case, so notice I only capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle. For the ebook version, we see that our format available is PDF. You can put this if you choose or just leave it blank. You may also leave the edition blank unless you see that your book is a second, third, or later edition. This one doesn't have an edition number, so it's probably the first edition. We can just leave it blank. Okay, now we need a URL. Once again, because we are using a database, it's better to get a permanent link instead of copying the one from the top. So we're going to use the permalink tool right here on the right side. When we click that, it will pop up a permanent URL that we can copy and paste right into SiteFast. Then click Save Citation, and we will start on our fourth and last example. For that, we're going to be citing a website. Websites can be really tricky to cite because you sometimes have to go hunting for the citation information. For example, this page has no clear author listed anywhere. We do see a logo in the top corner for an organization, but it's hard to know how to cite that logo. The best practice in this case is to click around and explore the website for clues and information about the organization that made this information available. One of the first places to check is the bottom of the page. Is there an About section? I see one here, so I'm going to click on it. Now we have a clear written out form of this organization's name. It's kind of long, but we'll use it. So going back into SiteFast, we want to go ahead and select Web Page, and then Manual Entry. Then we can go ahead and put in that organization name.
Now we need the date. Going back to our source, we can click the back button on our browser to go back to our article we're trying to cite. There is no date listed for this article anywhere on the page, so we'll have to leave that blank. The document title is right here, and we will have to put that in sentence case. In this particular example, the document is part of a greater website, so we're going to leave that chosen. And the website is not a wiki, so it's not likely to change frequently over time, so we'll leave that at no. So all we have left to do now is copy and paste the web address from our source from the address bar in our browser. Then click Save Citation. Now that we have all of our citations done, we can use the Copy Paste tool to just paste the references page into our Word document. Just click Select All, then right click, choose Copy, and go to your Word document. Click your cursor to the end of your main body, then hit Enter until you find yourself at the top line of a new page. Then right click to paste in the references. You'll want to use the option for Keep Source Formatting in this situation. And now you have a perfectly created references page at the end of your APA paper. Alternatively, you could use the tool to export to a Word document. However, that will download as a separate document that you'll have to merge with the rest of your paper. If you struggle with in-text citations, there's an in-text citations guide you can click on which shows you exactly how to format your sources for your in-text citations. There's also a quick guide which gives you all of the APA rules for in-text citations in a quick and easy to read format. That's it for using CiteFast. I hope this tool will be very useful to you as you do your papers and assignments.